quick video to explain uh, how to repair um, or making a little mod on a tiny drone. This is it's a toy. It's a uh, Hair Hog DR1 and it has I changed the battery. So this battery is the original. It kind of puffed a little bit and uh, it's 140 milliamp. And the problem is I think I kept it fully charged for two years without using it. And when I started to use it uh, two months ago, uh, the battery lasted literally 10 seconds max instead of a few minutes. So I think, okay, let's, let's find a new battery. So I found this one, uh, same capacity, similar weight, managed to fit it under somehow you know, on the belly. And it was not, it was not working in the way that it didn't had enough power to lift uh, this tiny drone. And the reason is, I think, because it has some electronic on it, which is, I believe, limiting the, the amount of power that can be delivered. Uh, so I found a new, another battery, which is this one, and it's. So the capacity is only 10 milliamp uh, higher, but I don't think it makes any difference. What makes a big difference is the C rating, 45. And it's the same weight, four and a half grams. So I've been lucky on this. And it actually fits, if I slide it, and it has a small connector. So you see it can move, can do it. It has a, a tiny connector and um, I've been very fortunate because I it happened that somewhere I had the female side of it that I soldered directly on the motherboard and the battery fits like this to keep it in check I put a tiny electric tape somehow like this and it works perfectly fine it flies better than before. I think the fact that it has a very high, or well, the size of the battery obviously, a very high C rating, probably more than the original, maybe three ton on it actually. Oh, yeah, this is a 20C, so I, so, and now this flies better than when it was new. Pretty cool.